It is quite obvious that Samsung put a lot of focus on the Z Flip 5 for 2023 to provide us some of the most improvements that we've seen on the Z Flip series since its inception. We started off with no external display and we've carried a small display for quite some time and we now finally have that 3.4 inch display on the outside that not only extends the functionalities of the internal display but also makes it so that you barely have to open up this phone to use it. This is TK and this is the first 10 things you should do to customize your Z Flip 5 to get the best experience. Let's check it out. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. So in front of us is the Z Flip 4 from 2022 and this is the Z Flip 5. Literally both of these devices are a generational upgrade but the biggest difference that you'll probably see here which essentially is something that we've carried for a couple of years now is the fact that the display now is much larger. Today I'm going to share with you guys all of the tips and tricks of what you can do with this device namely not just adding lock screen wallpapers but also the ability of actually scrolling through getting other applications running there and of course last but not least you believe also adding lock screen wallpapers on our device on the internal display as we've always done in the past. Now in the box itself it's pretty much a thin box for the Z Flip 5 very similar to the Z Flip 4. We just basically get a USB-C to C cable with a SIM ejector tool to be able to configure our system. So to be able to set up our device you can use that USB-C to C cable or you can use wireless configuration to actually transfer your data from your old device to the new one. It also goes without saying you should definitely buy a case to protect your device. This one's actually one of their original cases the clear gadget case that provides us the ability of changing the configuration on the back of the actual flip. One of the biggest thing that I love about this is that it's see-through and allows me to actually enjoy the color of my device. Small, minimalistic, and allows for the actual device to close all the way shut. One thing to mention is although the size of the Z Flip 5 matches the Z Flip 4, the cases for the Z Flip 4 will not allow the device to actually close all the way. They will always provide a gap. So that's one thing to keep in mind in case you do decide to use that. Also the Z Flip 4 will probably cut off your main display out the top here because it doesn't allow for the external display. Something to keep in mind and now this actually requires us probably to get some protection and that'll be in a separate video. To start off the setup of our device there's two ways of doing it. You can either set it up as a brand new device if you're setting this up for the first time you don't have an older device or if you do have an older device and you want to be able to set up your configuration here there's two ways of doing it. You can use either a wired or a wireless solution. So in this situation this is my old device I'm going to say send. There's the two options I'm going to say receive here and again this actually starts asking us am I transferring from an iPhone, an iPad or a Galaxy slash other Android device. If it is a Galaxy so in this situation we're going Android to Android we're going to use the wireless configuration we'll do wireless configuration they'll see each other and they'll be able to recognize the transfer request that we're putting in you'll notice right there and it's going to start prompting us on the left I'm going to say allow and at this point they're going to create a secured connection between the two and allowing me to pick and choose what data I want to transfer. The biggest thing that I love about this is that not only does it allow me to transfer let's go ahead and say custom and it allows me to transfer all my content but it also transfers all my Google accounts. So if you're logged into multiple Gmail accounts as well as your you know Samsung account all of that gets transferred your call logs your messages not all applications are supported but for the most part it'll cover it'll cover everything settings configuration home screen configuration images videos and audio and documents if you want to transfer those although I personally prefer whenever I'm transferring to a new device to skip these as I'd like to get the new experience fresh on the new device. Trust me when I say that is the, literally one of the simplest solutions available on the market right now and Samsung has been updating smart switch to even work with your desktop. First thing we're going to talk about after this is the ability of configuring your device. One thing to mention is that the display on the inside here supports 120 frames per second refresh rate resolution and that's something that you need to be aware of because out of the box it's not set to that resolution. You do need to go into the configuration go under motion smoothness and change it from standard which is what comes out of the box to adaptive. Now this allows it to actually go all the way up to 120 frames per second depending on when it's needed but when it's configured to standard it is capped at 60 frames per second. One thing to mention though standard will save you a little bit more on the battery side but overall this is something that you need to be aware. Go into the settings the resolution is not uh, nothing that we can configure on this but you do need to configure that option to go to 120 frames per second refresh rate. The external display is capped at 60 frames per second we don't have a way of configuring that but overall it actually works pretty great for what we're trying to do here with the display and we're going to talk about also how to augment that experience. Lock screen wallpapers as well as other lock screen configurations are actually in there and you can set up multiple custom themes in here that you can configure and you can use on the whim. Essentially changing the cover screen to whatever you need. Before we go too far I do want to mention one quick thing is that in uh, during my hands-on experience in Korea with Samsung they did show me that there was going to be custom plates or backplate cases that will allow us to have custom lock screen wallpapers on the front. As I'm showing you guys right now we had one for five guys we had also another one uh, directly made specifically for like uh, Spider-Man and some of the other things that even Disney and that allows us to actually have a very unique experience on our Z Flip 5. 
Now, the next thing we're going to talk to you guys about is something that typically isn't loaded on most Samsung devices, but it is something that Samsung offers, and that is called GoodLock. Now, GoodLock by itself is a basically a repository of modules or small applications that allow you to modify or do specific modifications to your device. Now, the reason why I'm sharing this with you guys is because out of the box, this is not installed. You do need to go into the Galaxy Store. You need to look up for this application. Let's go ahead and close it up. Look up for GoodLock, and once you find that, install it and update it to the latest version. So if you transferred content from an older device to a new one. This may transfer with it, but make sure you update it so that it's compatible with One UI 5.1.1 and all of the options that we get there. Now, there's a few things in here that I love to always install. There's, of course, a lot of other options available. But the first one, foremost one that I'll probably say is, again, just install GoodLock and get that customizations done in there. And one of my favorite ones to install is Theme Park, Lockstar, Home Screen. And those are some of the ones available on the uh, makeup area. I'm not sure why it's called makeup. Uh, they used to have different names in there, makeup and life up, essentially. Uh, there's options in here, of course, here for key safe, nav star to be able to customize the navigation buttons. If you use the navigation buttons as your mode of transfer, uh, connecting here, since I'm using gestures, this does not actually apply. Quick star as well, one of the other modules in there. And one of the other ones that I really, really enjoy is one hand operation plus multi star camera assistant, sound assistant. Of course, there's nice shot, edit touch, nice catch, and then routines plus and register to be able to do even more customizations in here. Uh, very nice. And of course, customizing the experience here is very, very nice. The one thing I will probably say is one of my favorite things to do now is the ability of customizing and using video lock screen wallpapers. In the past, we didn't have this function on the Z Flip. We had it on the Z Fold, we had it on the S, uh, S series, but we always had the opportunity to be able to customize it, but never really put it on the lock screen because the display was so small. Here, all we have to do is say set wallpaper, and now it asks us to do lock screen, cover screen, and even call background, which I really, really like. And what it allows us to basically do is when we're getting a call, let's say from Christina here, uh, you'll get this as a lock screen wallpaper. So the phone will actually permeate this and it does really, really nice. You can also turn on the sound in here to kind of customize it. My recommendation though, is that make sure that your video is less than 10 seconds long and make sure you take out any other things like what I have right here. This is from DB Legends, as you can see, take out all the extra things in here so that when it does loop, it actually looks very, very nice. And at this point, all you're doing there is basically open it up or when you turn on the display, unlock it and you get to enjoy all the lock screen wallpaper and experiences that you want. Uh, Adam, again, Adam packed in Korea, they did show us a few scenes or a few different experiences available from South Korea that they can put there. But essentially any video that you have, you can crop and get that experience uh, running right on the external display. One of the first things you should do is definitely go into your settings and configure it to actually have some type of a security uh, functionality. We have the ability of using face recognition and fingerprint and of course pattern unlock. I personally chose a fingerprint with a pin and that's going to be my experience being able to lock and unlock my device. So you can see here, I can swipe, I can put in a pin or put in my fingerprint sensor here and of course use it. The fingerprint sensor present here on the right side part of the power button makes it so much more functional than some of the other options we have. And that's because it is so much easier. It's more of a natural position. I hold the phone, put it on and it unlocks. If I want to use it when it's closed, same thing. My fingerprint goes straight on it. It makes it very easy for me to use the actual UI element without having to open up two different things. I can just unlock with one finger, use swipe away, do whatever I want, launch the camera. And of course, double press the power button gives us access to the camera experience. You can switch between photo, video, as well as portrait. And you're using the best cameras on this device. So that's one of the main benefits. And that's why being back takes me back home. One of the other things that I really love using about this is that one handed operation plus. And I'll say this to you, if I ever if you've ever seen me do this when I swipe over and I'm actually just swiping between different experiences and I'm actually doing different things. So let's say I was going to swipe up. And then out opens up a little mouse cursor here that gives me the ability of switching between different experiences without ever having to reach to the top part of my phone. Um, you can close this, of course. Uh, you also have the ability of customizing these little widgets in here. This uh, even uh, here, let's go ahead and just swipe up. It gives me access to more of a recent app. I can close specific applications. And of course, swiping back does the same, which essentially takes me to the last open application. So I can just do this, opens up one more time, opens up, opens up, and then of course, close it and go home. Now, this is part of good luck. This is one of the, my favorite features. And of course, I install this on almost every device. It's called One Hand Operations Plus. It doesn't necessarily need to be installed through GoodLock. It is available through the Google Play Store as well, but it does require a Samsung device. And you can customize all of the things that I just showed you, the sensitivity area where you are, uh, the ability of customizing the return. So this one actually more of a back. This takes me to switch into between two different applications. Let's go ahead and go back. 
And one of the other things I love about this is the ability of turning onto the top and that opens up this little mouse cursor. This is also very nice for larger displays and makes using this functional this function much easier on devices like this. Now, the next thing I do want to talk to you guys about is called Home Up. Now, Home Up provides us a few things to be able to do on top of customizing our home screen, folders, backup and restore. But for me, my favorite part of this module is the ability of customizing my recents application. Now, by default, you know how Samsung's recents is supposed to look like. But when you customize it, you're actually able to do this nice little carousel experience you can change it to more of a grid if you want to be able to do that you get all of the applications in there you can even go vertical list which provide us somewhat of an older style of an android experience in here but one of the biggest things i love about it is the stack and of course you can also even do mini mode which allows you to actually make it smaller in case you want to be able to make it more one-handed uh, for me it works pretty nicely on standard mode and one of the other things is it also pulls up most some of the most recent apps that you have and if you want to launch more you can go directly into the app drawer and it jumps you straight into split screen mode which allows you to run everything that you want all of these experiences are very nice and very strong and customizable within the ui now the next module that I want to talk to you guys about is multi, uh, Multistar. But before we get there, I do want to share with you guys real quick something called Labs. This is something that's built in that doesn't, well, that doesn't need to be downloaded, but you should be aware that it is actually on your device. Under Advanced Features, there's a section here called Labs. Now, Labs allows us to actually add on top of the standard applications that normally are able to run on the lock screen, which by default, there's a few widgets that you're able to set up from there but none of the applications by default are allowable there till you turn it on in the labs, which is this app, uh, say apps allowed on cover screen. And currently it only has a certain subset of apps. So by default, if you don't download uh, GoodLock and you're using Multistar, this is gonna be somewhat of a limited experience. And let me show you what I mean. So go ahead and we'll unlock the device. And you'll notice that the list is actually quite small. It is not a very large list to be able to use. So you're actually able to use like Netflix, WeChat, YouTube uh, messages, and of course uh, the uh, Samsung messages and Google messages as well. Uh, but one of the things that we want to be able to do is the ability of actually launching way more applications that we normally can. And of course, if I want to be able to add more applications, open up the device, go straight into GoodLock, and of course, we're able to customize and add more applications in there. We're going to give it a second to load it up, and you can definitely go through and lock and literally add whatever app that you want. If you're in a market that does not have good luck and you're not able to download the multi-start uh, module itself, there is a second application on the market called OS uh, Cover Screen OS. That's going to be something that you can be able to do, and we'll definitely cover that in a separate video. But the biggest thing would be obviously once you set that up, go into multi-star, go with the I love my uh, Galaxy foldables, and of course you can add and customize all the different experiences and add even more applications to your lock screen. So overall, very simple, very easy. Make sure you download it. It's called uh, well the actual module itself. Let's go ahead. And go back it's actually called multi-star built in directly under the life up section the makeup section which is one that gives us access to home up gives us the ability of customizing the recents app and the life up gives us the ability of customizing our device camera assistant and sound assistant provide us a few options camera assistant allows us to take faster images focusing more on speed than camera quality one thing to mention though you do definitely uh, lose some of the quality if you're moving your hand and it's not pretty steady Sound Assistant allows you to basically just customize the experience of how your sound panel is configured here. So let's go ahead and change the audio experience. This is typically how it looks like there. We're going to go to a sound panel. We're going to customize it and you can add even more functions into it, make it way better, uh, not only being able to listen or customize the volume, but also the ability of customizing the experience uh, when it comes down to other applications separately. And that allows us to configure that using the Sound Assistant. And last but not least, definitely one of my favorite features in here that allows us to actually enjoy this device even more. One of the last updates that they did to the uh, system that we have here with the Z Flip 5, on top of the fact that now we have the better hinge configuration here where it does go all the way flat, but they actually now also support video output on the USB-C port that we have, which we haven't had this before, which is one of the main reasons I probably will say is if there is any, if you're a Flip user from any generation, even the Z Flip 4, you're actually, believe it or not, will definitely benefit from the improvements of the display and the USB-C port on the brand new Flip 5. First and foremost, obviously, unlock your device. One thing to mention is you do need a compatible display. So uh, let's say a smart display, uh, a monitor, or even basically glasses like these. So let's, this in this example, obviously this is Roku. I'm just gonna go ahead and let it sit here. Let's go ahead and open up Netflix. And one of the main benefits here is the ability of enjoying content from our device now on, let's say something like this. And as you can see right there, the display is actually mirroring exactly what's on my display in here. One thing to mention though, is that if you do close your device, the actual display stops getting video, but audio still plays in there. You'll notice that there, it just goes into that lock screen color. 
And that's primarily because there is nothing playing on the display anymore. Although the improvements that we've seen here on the Z Flip 5 are very much in your face. You open up the box, you re pretty much greet it with that larger display that you can do so much more. You can play games, you can use applications in here. One thing to mention though, if you are gonna be using apps that are not intended to run out of this, so the lab shows you the apps that are optimized to run on here. That's one thing to keep in mind. But when you go into good luck and allow, well, allow everything to run on it, sometimes the aspect ratio doesn't play very well. So just be aware your mileage may vary. Not everything running there will run well but it is nice to be able to basically run anything that you want, especially let's say you wanna open up a quick app that doesn't require you to actually open up the actual display. Running a 3.4 inch 60 Hertz refresh rate display will definitely consume much less battery than running it at, again, with a larger 120 frames, per, well, 120 Hertz refresh rate display. It's not gonna kill the battery, but from an experience point of view, just be aware that's something to keep in mind there. Um, the USB-C port upgraded to have a video out. It's something that probably most people don't even talk about, but it is actually a very cool feature, especially as these AR glasses and these solutions are starting to become more popular. For me on a flight and if I'm traveling, I wanna be able to enjoy my content. And this allows me to mirror my display directly into the glasses. I would have loved it so that it was still working when I closed the clamshell and I'm able to enjoy content there. But again, overall it's mirroring the display and it doesn't mirror the external display, it only mirrors the internal one and that's one of the things there. Now I'm sure there's gonna be more modules coming out later on from Samsung to be able to, be able to give us even more functionalities into our device. I will say that I wish at some point that Samsung starts making GoodLock as a standard default all regions type of a solution on their devices. Right now, depending on where you live in the world, you may and may not actually be able to download it. And again, this is where something like Cover Screen OS may comes maybe a little bit more functional. And there are substitutions on the market for GoodLock, so just be aware of those. But out of the box, this device has received so much love from Samsung and it's gonna be very nice. If you love a flip phone and you love the ability of being able to use the external display as much as using the internal, the, uh, using the ability of using video output from this, customizing it with good luck, customizing with even more of your own personal live wallpapers of your own personal experiences, this is not going to disappoint. Thank you very much for the support. Like and subscribe as usual, and I will see you in the next video, hopefully about the Z Fold 5.